Hello there, Saturday morning. I had to check my phone to make sure before I said that because I'm losing the plot slightly here. Um, did you all have fun with a bit of crazy? I did. Look, there's mine. Okay, so what you can see there, I'm just going to run through it again because it was a bit of a spontaneous yesterday and we maybe didn't have the best of instructions. Um, background fabric or a piece of fabric that's not going to match it's not going to be seen okay and underneath there i've got my line drawn all the way around to the size that i need so i've drawn mine at 12 and a half so that i know i'm going to have plenty covered all right so then i actually got hold of the um third block of um block number two that we made extra and I chopped that into three pieces. So he's actually included in there in a couple of different spaces. All right, so that was my Thai colors gone in there immediately. Um, and then I used the um, extra one of those that I'd made. And what else did I use? Um, all the rest I think are, are actually what I would call odds and sods, okay? What I have done in several places is put two or three together separately and then attach them. Um, to my block I found that actually the way I was working it um, quite a few of them wouldn't stitch and flip just because of the shapes of them so I don't know if you can see this one here there's two quite clear rows of um, applique stitch on there just to hold that in place now mine's actually all a little bit loose in places so I can get fingers and things in and under um, and I'm not worried about that because um, when I get to do the stitching down each of the joins, I shall make sure that that's covered and it sits and it's quite happy. All right. It will also allow me to insert actually probably a bit of lace and things as well, possibly. Um, mine's not the usual way, as I say, of doing crazy patchwork. But there we are. So you've got your background, you get two bits of fabric face right sides together. You put them onto your background, you machine them down and then you open them up. And they call that stitch and flip out, what they used to many years ago when I learnt it. Um, give it a quick iron, get another piece, go across at an angle, whatever shape you fancy it. Right sides together with the two you've already done. Machine it, cut off any excess maybe on that seam, open it out. And then you work your way round. As I say, I, I actually quite often put several pieces together first and then attach them to this. So you can see loads and loads of um, pieces there, but you probably, I don't know if you can see the stitching on the back there, there's nowhere near the amount of stitch lines as there are pieces on the front because actually I was, I was attaching quite large pieces on there. Um, I didn't get round to doing any of the actual seam stitching, okay? Um, because I went into mass production of face masks yesterday, like a lot of us. There we go, we've got some nice bright yellow ones going on there. Um, there's all the mass production bits going on. Um, all good. I didn't realise how long they take to make. Um, but that's all good so my best boutiques going on there um, a friend of mine asked she, was, she works in the care home she asked for some face masks so we're in mass production to post them to her um, on Monday hopefully I'll have them all done so I didn't get a lot of time to carry on with mine I did the basic that I needed to in order to help use all along I do think I need to, to, to say um, my witterings every day are literally that I, I, ha I don't generally have any idea of what I'm going to say or why I'm going to say it. I have very little idea. Of, can you see a cattail? <laughs> very little idea of what we're going to make each time, um, as you found out yesterday. Um, I don't intend for these to be full on classes for you each day. They really are just me and what am I doing and I'm being a bit silly. Um, I am, however, going to consider doing some proper full on, this is how, demonstration, fully, fully, fullies. Um, but when we get back to normal life, I think, because they're going to take quite a bit of effort and I would like to do them properly in so much as everything's set up um, and get Paul in here maybe to video for me so that, you know, you get a real good presentation. What you're getting every day at the minute is just me having a bit of fun and trying to inspire you all to do a little bit. And if I make you laugh along the way, then that's a good thing too. There's a cat climbing in. Yeah, climbing, climbing, trying to climb into the fabric here. Bless him. He's got my attention, so he's having a little head stroke now down here. Why don't you come up here and say hello to everybody? Okay. 
um so yeah the, these witterings were really very unintentional just to, um for my students to keep us all sort of a little bit of in touch um a bit of company for those that i know are maybe on their own um and actually do you know what it's been the most amazing thing for me it's given me structure i hear a cat playing on my fabrics so excuse me i'm just going to bring him up here because he was being a naughty boy because he wants attention so we bring him up here then we can all see him yeah so i need to thank you all because I, you've given me structure to my day you've made me get up actually bother and present myself for the most part anyway um well, yeah, have a shower and that sort of thing it's always good isn't it um and then it's made me make something or do something um and then present it to you all right in a bit of a fun way and only very quickly um, but a lot of the these blocks and things that I've done, you will find full um, how to's over on my website on abbyann.com um, in the, as I say quite often, in the um, blog, there, there's sort of written instruction with loads of photos and things on how to do certainly this this crazy patchwork. So if you're looking for more detail, have a little look on there. OK, um, but have a bit of fun lovely couple of new photos yesterday girls sally you've got a fabulous one going on there with the heart and the scraps and that oh like that a lot um but some really really lovely things and you, you're making me quite proud thank you girls and boys um seeing them all laid together and how they're possibly going to look has been fantastic i know it made quite a difference when i when i saw mine um sort of like that okay so tomorrow's block is already done <laughs> Because I did that for yesterday and then landed up doing that, didn't I? Oh, I can't help myself. It, it's what has to be done. Um, very short way to today. As I say, thank you, everybody, because you're keeping me a bit sane for whatever same is, whatever that normality question is. Um, and, and I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. But as I say, today I'm in mass production of masks. Um, so I'm fortunate, as I say, homework's done already for tomorrow. So I can now spend the rest of the day going for it. Um, I hope you're all well, I have to say, all well, and are you all talking to your friends? Have you been and said hello to everybody? It's very important, I feel, very, very important. Um, what else is there? Exercise! Oh, don't we just love it? I found a couple of Victoria Wood videos yesterday um, where she's doing the fitness instructor, and oh, my gosh, I did laugh. Um, if you like Victoria Wood do have a little look on um, YouTube and I actually I'll put them on my own personal Facebook page that they're public so if you wanted to just look at Abby Searle you'll find them on there um, it was such a lovely walk sense of humour she was one of my favourites such a shame she's no longer with us um, but there we go so Victoria was a bit of exercise um, I think she's doing step isn't she um, brighter today no rain brighter so we like that that's good although it's a bit cold this morning when i got out of bed i have to say it was a little bit cold a little bit cold right okay so i'm gonna say have a lovely day um enjoy whatever you're doing don't forget contact and stuff with everybody there um be lovely <laughs>